Welcome back to Blender Daily. Today I want to show you a really handy free add-on that makes working with HDRIs a lot easier in Blender. Let me show you. So in order to download the add-on, first go to codeofart.com slash ECHDRI 2.8. I also put the link to this in the video description so you can quickly find this page. Then just scroll down and go to downloads and select the newest version that you have available. In this case, this is currently version 1.1, which is for Blender 2.81 and newer. This is totally free, so you can just click on it and it will start to download. Once you have it downloaded, we can switch to Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, switch to the Add-ons tab, then click on Install, Select the zip file that you just downloaded and choose install add-on. Once you've done this, you can search for easy HDRI. You should find it in here and just make sure that you tick this checkbox so that the add-on is enabled. So then we can start using it. And to demonstrate it, I've prepared this scene with just a monkey with metal shader and the simple ground plane. So let's switch to the render preview and we can find the, the easy HDRI add-on in the side panel. So just press N to open it up and here we should have the easy HDRI options. So in the beginning we can't see anything and you can see it is a warning the list is empty, which is because we haven't loaded in our HDRIs yet. So in order to do so, click on this folder and go to a folder where you have all your HDRIs saved, go into it and then click on accept, which will load in all our HDRIs. You can already see that we have all those little thumbnails for the HDRIs that we had in this folder. So now in order to load those it's in into our scene, just click on create world notes and you can see that we now have this HDRI in the background. We can quickly switch between the different HDRIs with those arrows that we have right here to click through the HDRIs or go in here and just select from the thumbnails. So in this case, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one for demonstration. And once you have one selected that you are happy with, we have a few more options to adjust. So first of all, we can change the sun strength. So we can either make the sun stronger or weaker. And I think this is really useful because we can adjust the sun strength without affecting the rest of the HDRI. So we can make this a bit brighter if we want to, and it will only affect the sun and not the rest of the sky. But we can also adjust the overall strength of the HDRI with this sky's strength value. So if we increase this, everything will become brighter. And if we bring it down, we can make it a bit darker. But I think I bring this back to the default, which is one. And we have another really useful options, which is this rotation. So we can quickly adjust the rotation of the HDRI. In most of the cases, you'll probably only use the set rotation to rotate the HDRI along the horizon. Then we have even more options. If we go to background display and we can, for example, switch this from original to solid, which will give us a solid background. So we can give this any color that we want to have in the background but it will still use the reflections and lighting of the HDRI. Or we could also switch to blurred and choose generate blurred image. So now we have the HDRI in a blurred version in the background, which could be useful if you want to have this. But in this case, I think I'm going to go with the original one so we can actually see the HDRI in the background. And we can make even further adjustments in the color tab. So for example, we can give it a slight color tint, maybe bring this to red and then increase the factor. 
to give this HGRI a slightly red color. And the higher you bring this factor, the stronger the effect will be. So I think I'll make this just very slightly a bit red, which can look pretty good depending on what you're going for. Then we can also adjust the gamma. But I think I'm gonna also bring this back to the default value of one, or we could increase the saturation or also desaturate it. And in all those menu, we have the options to quickly reset those to the default values. Also here and here. So we can bring this back to what it was in the beginning. And I think this add-on is extremely useful since you can quickly adjust and uh, deal with your HDRIs and it is a lot faster than if you would do all of this in the note editor. So you have all the options that you usually need. And um, I also find it extremely useful to quickly switch between those HRIs and find the one that looks good for your scene. So if you're dealing a lot with HRIs, I highly recommend you to check it out. Again, it is 100% free and the link to it is in the video description. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.